Alright, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. The bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone who rule well. And uh, Shalom to the elect. There's a quick video I want to do on um, about speaking in the tongues, man. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a scripture in Acts. This is uh, Acts, the second chapter, the third verse. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were filled were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Right? So, you know, the, the disciples of the Lord started speaking in different tongues, man. Okay? As, uh, you know, it was the Spirit of the Lord that basically they were, they were speaking, the, you know, the truth, man. They were speaking um, the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? But in different tongues. Okay? So not just in um, the, in the Lusha one, but also in other tongues of the different areas that those um, disciples were from, man. Okay, uh, and they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. So that you know that goes to show that our people were scattered all abroad, man. Uh, you know, you got for example James, the first chapter where um, James salutes the, the apostle salutes um, the the, uh, the disciples that are scattered abroad, man. The twelve tribes. Okay, so our people have been scattered all around, man. I'm a, I'm a living example of that, man. Okay, uh, you know you're gonna you're gonna have Israel foreigners, Jake, that don't look like your typical. You know, sh you know, shaft, you know, Israelites, okay, you know, but hey, it's, it's still down to the spirit, man, and it's down to the, and it's down to the to the seed as well, man. As long as your father's land goes back to Israel, then uh, then you're an Israelite, okay. That's pursuant to Numbers one and eighteen, okay. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own language, okay. So what does that mean? We're well, speaking in tongues. Uh, that the churches and all that are trying to confuse people with. They're trying to say, okay, it's just all that blah, 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 bullshit, okay? All that demonic bullshit, man. Well, but speaking in tongues is talking about, um, you know, people speaking in different tongues, uh, uh, in uh, uh, just the truth and all that, man, okay? So, me, uh, me personally, I make videos in Turkish because I can speak the, the Lord for the Spirit where he gave me the gift of speaking that language, man, okay? So I can, uh, I can edify Turkish-speaking elect out there and law and within their seal, you know. But um, really, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to, um, I wanted to basically just, you know, exalt brothers that are out there who are listening and watching that can speak other languages to push, to push that man, okay? Because we're coming into to the end of this thing, man. Okay, World War Three's around the corner, the chips on its way. So really, we just got to keep pushing, man. We got, uh, we're in that, we're in that time right now, man. Um, this is, um, this is Revelation seven and nine. Uh, after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude uh, That's talking about the great multitude, part of the elect man that, That's going to be uh, sealed and saved man Which no man could number of, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues Stood before the throne and before the Lamb Clothed with white robes and palms in their hands Okay, so it says of all nations So Israel of all nations man, okay and kindreds and people and tongues. So you're gonna have Israel scattered all over, and they're gonna be speaking different tongues, man. Okay, that's the proof on that, man. Because when 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 the great multitude are up there with the Lord in the salvation, man, you're gonna. That's what that's what John saw in his in his vision. He saw uh, different people from different places, and, and he said to the angel, you know, he said, uh, I think it was Ezra that said to the angel, you know, thou uh, angel said, you know, do you know what you see? He said that you know thou knowest because. You know, he saw different people from different, looking differently, man. different, man, you know? But wait, we're gonna, in the vision, but hey, the elect are gonna be sealed with what they look, doesn't matter what they look like, man. The important thing is, did the Lord give him this truth and this understanding and, and seal them, man, to be saved? That's the main thing, man. So we're coming into that time. Um, I was gonna do another thing, but you know, I'm just gonna go into it now, man. This is um, the spirit. This is Romans uh, chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed okay i uh, like i said earlier man world war three you see what happened in syria okay you see this bomb that they dropped uh, america dropped the moab bomb okay and that was and that was apparently even without trump's um uh no know how man and one of the generals just made that decision man so america just on they're out there man they're they're, they're making moves against russia okay so and, and russia can only ever retaliate this is a battle of superpowers man and it's prophecy Okay, it's a fulfillment of prophecy. So that World War III is coming in. So what well, that means is that the chip's going to be pushed some way, man. We don't know how yet, but it's going to be pushed to fulfill prophecy, man. So we're coming into that time of Jacob's trouble. 
okay? So it says it's high time for us to come out, to wake out of sleep, man, to come out of that slumber. So if you're watching this and you, you're still on the, on the fence and you don't know what the hell is going on, man, you need to get out of there. You need to get this truth, man. You need to be watching the apostles coming out, going to your local camp, man, and just and watching them, man, and, 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 and being out there, man, you know? Because, hey, the gates ain't going to be open for longer, man. The, that, that door, that, that, that boat, that Noah's Ark ain't going to be open for so much longer, man, okay? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Hey, we should be more, more uh, excited about this thing, man. Our salvation is near, man. All these signs are being fulfilled. All these prophecies are being fulfilled. That means the Lord's coming back soon, man. You know? Anyway, man, you know. Uh, you know, I'm actually, I'm going to jump down to this verse 13. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness. Yeah, man. Uh, so, some technical difficulties. So this is verse 13 in Romans, uh, the 13th chapter, man. Okay. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, man. Okay. So, hey, it's saying about, it's saying that if you're out there, man, you heard this truth and you're just, you know, you're lollygagging around, you're, you're going to this party and that party. Hey, man, those parties are all going to come to an end, man. Okay. It's better to go to the house of mourning than to the house of mirth, man. Okay. Hey, our people are, 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 are coming to a, to a point where the Lord's going to come back and he's going to seal the elect, he's going to save them and everyone else is going to get destroyed, man. And you're going to get caught up in that destruction, man. It's time to wake out of sleep, man. You know? Anyway, with that, you know, uh, shalom.